As you develop the vision for your company, how are you able to get your staff to understand it, but more importantly, act on it? We've grown uh, in 2004 from 15 people to today 22. We're looking to hire a couple, uh, a couple more people right now, and uh, we will. We have one machine on three shifts, and we will be adding another, and we're probably going to be buying a new machine. So we'll be at, we'll be at 30 people um, fairly quickly, and. Um, to it's it is imp it, when you have a staff of you know 22 people it's important to have them uh, seeing the vision and buying into Felton as a place where they could grow and uh, get in touch with their career as they say and um, you have to keep explaining that vision you have to keep um, sharing stories that support that vision success stories and celebrate successes. Um, we, uh, when I come back from a, uh, a successful trip that I'm excited about, I will share that trip with the staff. We have regular meetings Wednesdays uh, that I don't run because um, I am not as, um, um, it's not my strength to uh, be on time for every meeting and have meetings uh, at a regular time. So Chris does that, my plant manager. But when he knows enough to start the meeting without me and when I'm around, not on the road, I'll come in and speak. and. And I think um, I've heard that it gets people excited and they see what they're doing. When they're grinding away at 2 in the morning making product, they'll remember where, where we are and where we're going. So um, in a nutshell, uh, as far as vision goes, tell your people uh, often and, and tell them a lot. Uh, tell them often and tell them much. And um, um, walk around and, and if you see them working hard on a brush, explain where that brush is going, how important it is to the customer, who we're taking out as a competitor, or how long they've been a customer, and, and um, it's, um, employees appreciate that.